this video is going to be one example of dividing polynomials but using a specific method and that's going to be the tabular method. Sometimes this is called the area model or the table method. Let's get started. Here's the problem. We've got a uh, five terms here. 2x to the power 4 plus 2x cubed minus 22x squared plus 24x minus 8 divided by the quantity 2x minus 4. So um, we're not going to use long division or synthetic division for this one. We're going to use the area model, which works really well, especially if there's not a remainder. So um, the very first thing I want to do is start my area model, and I'm going to draw two rows, and that's going to give me lines or rows for my divisor. This is the divisor, 2x minus 4. So I need two rows for that. And um, I'm going to go ahead and list the terms of that divisor right here, 2x, right here, and minus 4. Okay, the next thing I need to do is figure out how many columns I'm going to need. And the best way to do that is to figure out what the first term is going to be of my answer, which is known as the quotient, because I'm doing division. So what, one thing I can do is just take my the first term of the dividend, that's the number be, that's being divided, divided by the first term of the divisor, and figure out what the first term is going to be of the answer. So I'm going to have to cross out my uh, common factors, which is 2. And I've got x to the power of 4 over x. That's going to give me x cubed. So I know that my first term is going to be a cube, a cubic. So I possibly am going to have an x squared term, a quadratic term with possibly a coefficient. And I'm going to have a, a linear term possibly and a constant. So I'm going to need up to four rows. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and divide this table into halves first, and then I'll give, begin to divide each half into another half, like this. All right. You can always take your very first term. Oh, and by the way, these, these cells, there's eight cells. They're going to be filled in with values that represent products of the row header over here, and the column header. And these cells um, are going to need to be combined if there's any like terms. And we always try to set it up so that you have like terms in diagonals. So for example, um, let's start with the ones that I know for sure where they're going to go. I know the very first term, 2x to the power 4, is going to go right here. And the very last term, negative 8, is going to go in the bottom right corner. Okay. So the first term goes in the upper left corner of the cells, and the last term goes in the bottom right corner. All right, the rest of it is going to be filled in um, as we go, and we just kind of separate them into different like like term diagonals. Okay, this the very first one is the first term of my original problem or my dividend. That's two x to the power of four. That's going to come from this. This diagonal is going to give me two x cubed. The next diagonal, that's these two cells, is going to give me the next uh, term of the original problem, which is negative 22x squared. Alrighty, and then the very next diagonal, I'm going to do a different color for this one. Yellow, okay. These two cells are going to have to add up and give me my 24x. And then again, we already know that the negative 8 comes from this bottom right corner cell. Okay, So if you kind of follow along here, you'll see that these uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are going to come from the cells inside here. Let's get started. Let's start with this bottom right uh, cell. It's negative 8, and that's the product of this row header, negative 4, and this sum number up here. Well, I know that that's going to have to be, I'm just going to erase that, that is going to have to be uh, 2, because the only way I can get negative 8 is by, by multiplying negative 4 times 2. So once I have this column header, I can multiply it times the row header, 2x, to get 4x. So that's what the product is. Oh, it's kind of messy. I'm going to try that again. 
much better. Okay, 4x. All right, now so as, as you can see, these two cells in yellow have to add up to, let me get rid of these. I think they might confuse people. Might, you might think that they mean negative. Okay, those two have to add up to positive 24x, okay? So I have 4x in this cell. This one's going to have to be 20x. That's the only way they can add up to 24x. Okay, so if I have 20x here, I multiply negative 4 times something. That something's going to have to be negative 5x. Um, if you're not sure, one thing you can do is just take that product, which is 20x, and you can divide it by one of the two factors that you already know, which is negative 4, and then just simplify it. In that case, the 4 comes out of the 20, and it's going to give you a 5, and I have an x up there. So the negative 5x can sum, divide in 20x by negative 4. All right, now that I have a negative 5x up top, I need to multiply it by the 2x to the right, the row header. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. And x times x is x squared. So I'm going to write, I'm going to use here for this, negative 10 x squared. Oh. Again, that's negative 5x and 2x. Okay, now again, these two cells that are in blue have to add up to negative 22x squared. Therefore, I know that this cell has to be negative 12x squared. That's the only way they can add up to negative 22x squared. Now, um, I'm thinking about what number do I multiply negative 4 by to get negative 12x squared. That's going to have to be positive 3x squared. All right. Now that I have the, the column header and the row header, I can multiply, and I'm going to get, I'll put these in green, I'm going to get 6. 3 times 2 is 6. And x squared times x is x cubed. Okay, all right, now I've got these these two diagonals have to add up to 2x cubed. And I remember, I get that from the original dividend. And I'm going to have, this doesn't have to be a negative. That's the only way I'm going to add up and get a 2x cubed. So I'm making it negative 4x cubed. Um, and I actually forgot I could have put, put this, um, the, what I originally had up here was x cubed. I could have just gone ahead and put that up here since I knew, already knew my first term was x cubed. Um, and I can also do it now because I know that it's, what do I multiply negative 4 by to get negative 4x cubed? Well, it would have to be x cubed. Okay, so what we have here is our answer is kind of all across the top, but you really are required to write it as a polynomial. So let me go ahead and write the answer down at the bottom. It's going to be x cubed plus, and the Symbol, the, the addition of subtraction symbols between them, so plus 3x squared. We got our minus 5x and our plus 2. And then what you really should do, I'm trying to keep the video show, short, um, and I know this is the correct answer, but what you should really do is, if you want to test it, is go ahead and multiply the this factor. This is the quotient of this division problem, but um, and if you have a division problem, you should be able to get the quotient multiplied by the divisor and get back to the dividend. So if you wanted to, you could go ahead and take this answer and multiply it by yeah, multiply it by 2x minus 4 and confirm that you end up with this up here. Thank you for watching.